Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're making crumbed mushrooms and these can be served as a starter or an appetizer or a lovely table snack for your Christmas table. So let's start prepping our mushrooms. The ingredients we will be using is fresh mushrooms and here I have 400 grams of mushrooms which I've dusted the sand off and lightly rinsed them. So I'm going to be using a paper towel and just wiping the, the extra moisture out. Mushrooms are like little sponges, they absorb water and release the water and it changes the flavour in the dishes you're preparing. So I've decided to cut the big mushrooms in halves or quarters so we can have a good cooking time. Then I've got breadcrumbs, two extra large eggs, cake flour, all-purpose cake flour. I put this in a big, bigger dish because we're going to need that space for the mushrooms. Then I've got dry parsley, whole black pepper and some salt. So we're just going to start prepping our mushrooms now. So now I'm just cutting the, the big mushrooms because we want even cooking time. Because the mushrooms were all different sizes. But try and get mushrooms that are of similar sizes. So it makes the cooking process easier. These are lovely to snack on with a dipping sauce, especially a tartar sauce. And it's beautiful for the Christmas table. I think that's okay now. So we're just going to set this aside and I've got my cake flour in here, this is just to dust our mushroom. I'm just going to season this with a little bit of salt, very little, I'm just going to give this a mix. And just lightly tossing our mushrooms. So we're just going to continue and set these aside. Dusting all the excess flour out. This is an important process because you want your breadcrumbs to stick to the mushroom. This is why I need a bigger dish. This is what our mushrooms are looking like. As you can see, we have quite a lot for a beautiful starter. Just gonna wash my hands. So now we're ready to start with the breading process. I've got my eggs here, which I'm just seasoning with a little bit of salt, not too much. And 
add the breadcrumbs, just a little bit of the parsley and some salt. So I'm going to give both of these a good mix. in this so I've drained out and dusted all the excess flour so now we're ready to start breading we're just going to dip this in the egg and in our breadcrumbs and that's what it looks like continue get the kids to help with this. They usually have fun doing this. Also use a little brush, like a stupid brush, which makes it a bit easier. It's not too messy. Because we just only want the breadcrumbs to stick. So our mushrooms have been prepped, they're crumbed and they're ready for frying now. We're going to fry this on medium heat, deep frying. So I've got a medium saucepan on the stove and sunflower cooking oil and my stove on medium. You don't want the oil to be too hot. You could use a deep fryer if you like. And then I've got one of these to drain any excess oil. And I'm using the slotted spoons. So I'm just going to test and see if our oil is ready. It's almost ready. Give it another two minutes. Okay, so we're just going to continue now. So I'm not overcrowding the pan. Just one thing golden brown and hope they cook through the inside. They usually do, but 
but the oil temperature is very important as well. Let's get this mix. And we're going to continue frying them. So our crumb mushrooms are now ready and they're looking good. I made my own sauce using mayonnaise and sriracha. So I basically just dusted the mushrooms with some dry parsley and now they're ready to serve. And looking very good. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope you're going to give it a try. And please tell me what you'd like me to show you to cook, make or bake. And please remember to subscribe and share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Until our next video, take care. Bye.